What's going on guys? Welcome to the vid. Today we are at Up Garage, but it's not any ordinary Up Garage. It's actually an Up Garage used car dealership. Check out some of the cars on the lot. They got some really sweet stuff inside. You definitely don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Literally right across the street from Up Garage, there's another Up Garage sign. And in front, there's cars with price tags in the window. So naturally got to come across the street, check them out. There's some really nice cars on the inside, but I want to start out here with this Honda S660. 1,580,000 yen. I'm going to round up with all the decimals. We're looking at 10,800 US dollars. Not bad. Um, it's an 09, so it's not safe side eligible until 2034, if my math is correct, which is a little ways out. But these cars are really, really cool. Check out the spoiler on it. I wonder if that does anything at all. <laughs> Doubt it. HKS, center exit exhaust. Very cool. It's got some bits and pieces on it. The paint looks really good on it. It is a manual and it's a K car. So it's really good, really fuel efficient, really cool mid engine. I like them a lot. It's basically the newer version of the Honda Beat. And then over next to it, we got a Mitsubishi Colt, Rally Art version R, 1,290,000 yen. So we're gonna call that 9,000 US dollars. Pretty cool, Mitsubishi Gang Gang. I mean, it's not an Evo, but nonetheless, pretty cool for a little four-door hot hatch and we got a Toyota Aristo parked over here 1,340,000 yen it says 07 it is a V300 so you guys already know what that means it's a vertex edition so it's got the 2JZ GTE on the inside but that can't be right 1,340,000 yen because if that's the case is $9,200 basically the price of a 2JZ right now I'm wondering if uh well, I don't see any Vertex badges on the side. It might be the NA version. Let's hang tight. Yeah, V300, so it's got the three liter on the inside. Some VIP wheels. Huh, very interesting. 60,000 kilometers. I mean, this thing's basically brand new. I don't see anything that says 2JZ turbo, but I do see V300, 3000 CC dual overhead cam. Huh. There's another way to check. I don't see. Actually, I do. I see intercooler. Huh. Maybe I'll ask them if they can pop the hood on that one in a little bit. We're not going to worry about this guy. Here's a nice Subaru. It's actually really nice. This is an O. Oh, no, that's not right. So my math is way off. I apologize, guys. So the Heisei year, are we subtracting? That's right, we're subtracting 12 from the Heisei. So this is a 2015. I'm giving you guys bad information over here. I'm that rusty. I've been out of the game way too long. This is a 2015 as well. I was like, did they make these in 09? And this one is a 2008. And this is a 2000. So this will be stateside eligible next year. So this guy is a 2015. We are looking at 24,600 US dollars. I like the headlights. Look at the fender flares. I mean, this thing is clean. It's got some Advan wheels, carbon fiber rear view mirrors. I see a bunch of gauges sitting up here. Big spoiler. Side skirts. I mean, it's got a full arrow. Not a bad price. I mean, a little bit of body damage here. Nothing major. Really straight car. Not bad for $24,000. And here's another one, WRX non-STI. Get some information on this guy. This one is a 2016. I see Recaro SR6, which it does. Endless brake, six pot, 77,900 kilometers. Really low mileage. This is a two liter GTS EyeSight. Don't know what the EyeSight means. I'm not too familiar with the newer Subarus especially in Japan, carbon fiber surround for the, uh, the hood scoop. And here's a Nissan Skyline with infinity badges on it. 3.7 liter, this is a 2007, 1,740,000 yen. This is kind of cool. So it's a Toyota Fielder, but it's a TRD Sportivo. Little emblem here, 1 million, 112,000 yen, so under 10,000 US dollars, 80,000 kilometers. It's a 2010. It's got some TRD livery on the side, TRD wheels. Pretty cool looking van. 
It's got Recaro seats on the inside. And it's man. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. It's manual. Guys, I'm not even kidding. Full arrow all the way around. Corolla Fielder TRD. Huh. Wonder what's under the hood. I'm not too knowledgeable on these. If I know somebody out there, please drop it in the comments down below. It is really windy today, guys. I'm sure you can see the trees blowing and the flags blowing. Hopefully my uh, my microphone's not picking up all the wind noise. There's some cars back here. I don't see any price tags, but another uh, WRX. This looks like a, what, 07, 08? Another WRX, newer one. Cool stuff is inside, guys. Check this out. Check it out. Such a cool showroom. Couple skylines in back here. All right, let's get into it. Let's go ahead and start off with an absolute unicorn of a car. Oh my goodness. I haven't seen one of these in years. I think since I was at the Nagoya auction. R33 GTR, Autech version, four doors, RB26. It's basically R33 GTR, four door. What, are you kidding me? All right, let's get the information on this. So this is a 1998, meaning, hey, it's eligible for, uh, for import to the States. 96,500 kilometers, super low mileage. Let's see, Autech, GTR, Blitz, Nismo 320, okay, Tomei ECU. So, Autech version, I'm assuming a Blitz exhaust. It's got the Nismo gauge cluster, Tomei and ECU. I don't know, if we're gonna walk around and check this thing out. But the price is 7 million and 9,000. We'll just call it 7 million 100,000. Let's see what that comes out to. 48,900 US dollars. Are you kidding me? That's a really good price. I, like, am I, am I crazy? I know 33 GTRs are going way more than that. I mean, granted, if you're trying to get it back to the States, you gotta pay for shipping and all that, but under 50,000? And you're gonna be the only one in your neighborhood with one. Check this out. Autech Rain Guards. Got the Nismo 400R uh, over fender flares. This is so cool. Brembo's front and rear. So yeah, Nismo cage cluster. I mean, this thing's really stock for the most part. Got the stock steering wheel. I've seen aftermarket shift knob. Got the OEM seats. Yeah, they got this thing back to right, right up to the wall. I can't get behind it. Wow. Very cool. I know I've mentioned in the past, uh, the Evo Wagon Ultimate Family Car. This might be it right here. It's got the Xenon headlights, the Series 3 headlights. And over here we got a Skyline DR31. I don't see a price tag on it. It just might be a showroom car. RS Turbo, very nice. Old school Nismo logo. I don't think I've ever seen one this clean. Paint looks really good on it. Wow. And here's another STI. And check this out. Honda Integra Type R DC2. We just did a feature on this car. And it's for sale. Let's check it out. All right, so it's a 1998 stateside eligible. 137,000 kilometers, but it's got endless four pot brakes. Go ahead and verify that. Capac exhaust. A little carbon fiber wrap right here. 2220000 This Type R is currently priced at 15200 US dollars. Heck of a deal. And stay side eligible. Little Mugen bits too. Like the carbon fiber duct right there. Carbon fiber front lip. Really clean car. And then over here, Mark V Supra. I don't see a price tag on it. Really cool. I know you guys are going to comment down below. Go ahead and do it. It's a BMW. <laughs> and then an A86. In red. They're really cool to see. Old license plate. Check that out. And I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I got to do this for the Subi gang. But there's a WRX in here, so it's got to be special. So we're going to check it out. Really, really clean. This is like a really nice looking WRX. So it's 
STI. I like the blue and red, and I like the, the rear view mirrors. That's really nice. So 3 million, 890,000 yen. It's a 2017, 76,000 kilometers. So I see STI, Varus, Varus GT, HKS, work motion. It's got a Varus body kit. Is that what I'm looking at? Maybe this is aftermarket, I don't know. We got the work emotions, really clean. Spoiler, maybe that's what it's talking about. Big old wang. This is really cool. I don't know if this is OEM. I mean, it says STI. I don't know if it's a factory option. I just don't remember seeing an STI with this. Subi gang out there is going to correct me. Please let me know. Aftermarket rear bumper, though. Looks really nice. The paint on it's really well done. I mean, that's a mean looking Subaru. Let me get the price for you guys. So, 3,890,000 yen, $26,800. Three million, eight hundred ninety thousand yen, $26,800. Very clean Subaru. If you're interested in any of these cars in here, I'll try to see if I can find a website. It might even be on the UpGarage website. They might have like a, a used car drop down. I'm not sure. All right, guys, so I was finishing up the other video and a few cars caught my eye. So I ran over here. I don't know if these cars are for sale. It looks like a car dealership. Check this out. There's an S15 Varietta just sitting out here. Look at all the bird poop all over it. <sighs> Manual swapped. Very cool. So this is an S15 with a hardtop convertible. And most of them came in automatic, if not all of them, from my understanding. It's got some aftermarket wheels. I'm pretty sure it was swapped. And then check this out sitting over here. A Yunos Cosmo. I haven't seen one of these in so long. Oh my God, the JCI sticker on it. This thing has been registered in years. And there's a Porsche Carrera sitting over here. What? I don't know what's going on with this. It's called it Auto Gallery Tokyo. I don't know what's going on with these cars. Look at this Cosmo. I wonder if it's got the 20B in it, the three rotor. Huh. This is definitely a unicorn. I did not expect to see this sitting over here. The S15 caught my eye, and then there's like a Cadillac XLR sitting over there, which I thought was interesting, along with this like E350 Super Duty. Just vehicles you don't see. I mean, there's like Hummers and Jeeps, just cars you don't see every day in Tokyo. So I was like, you know, sparked my interest, sparked my curiosity. So naturally I come over here, and there's a Yunos Cosmo sitting over here. That is, that is so strange. Speaking of Yunos, there's an Amiata or Yunos Roadster. Yeah, another XLR. So they have two XLRs. They got a, the white one that's like just on the other side. These are really cool. It's got a Corvette engine inside. <laughs> this one's got a thing in the window that says hold. Well, it's being held on to. Front tires are flat. I mean, if. I didn't see other cars that were sitting out here with price tags. I would think they're abandoned. They're not abandoned, just cars left out to sit. I mean, that Yunos Cosmo, that thing has not been registered in 20 plus years. Now I kind of want to walk around a little bit more. There's another dealership over here. Let's see what else we can find around here. Let's walk around. Come with me on my Tokyo car hunting journey. That 350Z with like, looks like a R35 front bumper. Another car dealership. It's an out front, looks like a car I used to own. Subaru Legacy B4 RSK, which is the best B4 you can get because it's got the five-speed manual transmission, EJ20 twin turbo, and it's faster. It's faster than the automatic. It's got 280 horsepower. I think the automatic one has 260 horsepower, so you get an extra 20 horsepower. Very cool. B4 RSK stands for Rally Sport Compressor, I think. I'm gonna have to fact check myself on that, but I, I think that's right, or I'm kind of close. But yeah, so um, Subaru and Porsche linked up together to actually produce this car. So it's got good suspension, a good engine, it's four doors, rides really comfortably. These cars are very slept on, and I think they're gonna go up in value. You can get them dirt cheap, like look at this, 217, what is that, 217,000 yen? It can't be 2,170,000 yen, no way. Let's pull out the old handy dandy converter. So let's say it is 2,170,000 yen. That's still $14,900. It's a little much, but it says 34,000 kilometers. Really low kilometers if that's the case. But I mean, it looks really clean. 
cleaner than anyone I've ever seen. Take a closer look at it. It's got some work wheels. Check it out. That's very cool. It actually has a different, um, different rear bumper. And these are really cool. The license plates around. Mm. Clean car. Yeah, because if it's only 217,000 yen, that's $1,500. And there's no way they're selling this car for $1,500. I think this car with the two digits, that's 660,000 yen. That's like a $5,000 van. I'm gonna keep walking. I don't really see anything else on the lot. Too intriguing. <laughs> right as I said that. What are you doing over here? You can run, but you can't hide. Subaru WRX STI, 37,000 kilometers. This is really, really clean. I like the fog light covers. So this is a 2002. So not quite stateside eligible, but will be in, what, three years from now? So I see six-speed manual transmission, all-wheel drive. Huh? So if it is 5,110,000 yen, that comes out roughly to 35,000 US dollars. It is very clean though. It is very clean. Got the gold Brembos. It's got some aftermarket wheels. Let's check out the interior. Overall, very clean and crazy low mileage. It is very stock, minus the wheels. That's cool. It's got the hood vent up here. What do you guys think? This car is 34,000 US dollars with 37,000 kilometers. That's like 20,000 miles for an O2. This thing's never been driven. And this is the blob eye. I'm learning my Subarus. Subi gang, back me up. Decided to come over to O-Rush across the street. A few cars caught my eye. Check this out. Porsche GT3. Caged up in the rear. You know this is not my, it's not my speed. So for this 911 GT3, 9,000 kilometers, we're asking 19 million yen. That's like 100, 140, 150,000. It's a beautiful car. I mean, this thing is sweet. Man. Getting a VIP tour on this GT3. Oh, yeah. This thing is sweet. 350 on the dash. 997. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Check out the interior. Carbon fiber. Oh man. Wow. This is a driver's car. City's gonna let me test drive it here in a little bit. <laughs> oh, you got a GT3 RS back here too? I like the Ferrari F430. This is a car. Wow. How much? 24 million yen. It's good price. It's a good price. I know these cars are very, very sought after. Man, such a, such a sweet car. One day, one day. Take all my money. <laughs> so unfortunately we do not have any JDM cars here, but we got some really nice Euro cars and they're all left-hand drive for the most part, which is pretty cool. I like seeing left-hand drive cars in Japan. 120, 130,000 for this 430. They actually have a really, really nice showroom. I mean, I, if you're coming to buy these cars, you know, you'd want a nice showroom. And a Camaro, out of all things. Chevy Camaro. <laughs> so, 7,800,000 LTRS. It's a two liter. I think it's a two liter turbo. Like 50,000, it's pretty hefty. It does have Brembo brakes on it. I don't know a lot about Camaro, so I'm not gonna act like I do. But the blue on it's really nice. Check it out, a Hachi Roku. And that was the nicest gentleman right there working for O-Rush. If you're in the market for a Ferrari or Porsche in Japan, definitely come check them out. But man, he was super nice, super nice. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, as always. Hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite car of the video was. I wanna know. And hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and stay tuned for more JDM content. I've got five more days left in Tokyo and I'm not done yet. But I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.